Okay guys, so today I'm going to make it my mission to create-ish a breeding colony of black soldier flies. And you might be thinking why? That's kind of odd. Why would you want to breed flies? But they are actually the adult stage of calci worms. And I've bought calci worms before. The first ones I got were far too small, so small that my geckos didn't even realize they were biting into them. And then I ordered some that were bigger and not only have they all now turned into black soldier flies, but my geckos responded to them a lot better. So what I want to do now, save myself some money, is breed them. And you just as well do it because at the same time, I don't think you're actually allowed to release these into the wild because I don't think they're native here. I'm not 100% sure, but it does say on here they're not. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to just kill them. That seems a little bit off. So I thought, you know what? breed but they need more room than this because they're trying to fly around and they can't so that's why I've got this so this was from the original uh, butterfly garden videos you might have seen that series and last time you saw this you may have seen Edgar the hawk moth in here uh, as a chrysalis though so I got private hawk moth caterpillar it pupated last year um, unfortunately he did die so basically I'd noticed he had stopped moving, he'd stopped reacting to light and water and touch, he kind of looked shriveled up, he just was not reacting to anything and I thought look, either I open him up and maybe he survives or I open him up and he's dead. And unfortunately he was, he wasn't even developed properly, um, he'd completely stopped moving. I don't know why. It's a real shame because I would have liked to see how he turned out and to release him and everything, but it's nature, you know? Some things work, some things don't. Anyway, what we're going to do now is actually give this home to the soldier flies. And at the bottom, we need an area where they can nest. So I found this little box that actually fits in there. And I'm going to fill this up with eco earth. Now, I would have preferred to do it with something a little more fertile something that will maybe benefit the calci worms a bit more when they're older but um i'm sure if i keep giving them like vegetable scraps and insect fuel and everything like that that should hopefully help so that's what i'm gonna do so now i'm just gonna put in a few vegetable scraps um probably a little bit you know a bit of celery um if you have animals like guinea pigs and you're cutting up their food and you have like the odd ends of celery or odd ends of carrot, just give them to your feeder insects, they'll appreciate it. Now most like adult stages I find like for example butterflies, although they do need things to keep them going, their main focus is on reproduction whereas as a caterpillar stage their main focus is eating and growing. So you would think maybe the adults won't need so much food but I have found the flies actually do attack it so I'm going to leave some in there. And now here comes the tricky part where I'm going to have to try to tip the box into here and hopefully none escape. So here we go. I think there are still some chrysalis in here but mainly flies. So I'm going to try to just tip everything into this dirt area. Oh, let's get every corner off of each bit. We do not want any flies escaping. So if we just tip them all in here. Oh, there's an odd one there, excuse me. Oh, and another one. Oh my goodness, they're flying out. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere in my room. Oh my god. Okay, I think I've collected them all back in and put them in here. So a major tip I would give you guys is as soon as you see your calci worms um, pupating, put them in something like this so you won't have to have this issue when they actually hatch out. I did not have this available at the time and I think where we suddenly had a lot of heat that in, like speeds up everything and that's when everyone hatched out. You can kind of hear them, the little flying sound so yeah make sure you prepare now calci worms themselves are pretty healthy food sources for a range of uh, reptiles and amphibians I think um, so I think it's definitely worth breeding them and I'm sure we're gonna have no problem with the amount of flies we have so I hope you've enjoyed this little video maybe it's given you some tips if you wanted to do this I always say you know mealworms and even morio worms if you have the adult version of them instead of just release them into the wild because that can be quite destructive keep them breathe them and you can have more feed insects if you want to learn more about feed insects and gut load and everything i think i'll make a playlist if i haven't already and i'll link that so thanks for watching guys and goodbye <laughs>